All right, guys, movement class this week. We are gonna test the med ball scoop toss, so we're gonna do this first. That way we know we have plenty of time. Um, what they're gonna do, movement class, we are gonna use a five pound small medicine ball. They'll set up here on the turf. They're gonna start right here on this line. We can extend this line out if we need to. Heels will be touching the line. They'll pick the ball up between the legs and throw it backwards as far as they can. They don't want to throw it down, but they don't want to throw it up either. You want it like a rainbow arc, because we're going to mark where it hits, okay? The first black line here is at 15 feet. They should get it at least to that or, or more, okay? So this is 15, and then every white mark after that is five feet, okay? If they go in between, Coach Dane has done an amazing job at creating this PVC ruler for us. So let's just say little Johnny's throwing it and he gets it right here. Okay, I see the ball and he goes right here. Okay, so that's 15, then five more, this is 20. And then I'll mark this and I'll just add. Okay, so he show this, this is where he hit. Additional feet, additional feet. And then it looks like roughly six inches. So he got 22 feet and six inches. 22 feet and six inches, that would be his mark. I'll tally it down, next kid's gonna go. They're only gonna do it one time, okay? That will be testing this, super simple. The next thing we're doing is the um, obstacle musical chairs. That's gonna be the same, but we did take down the cannonballs and put something else there, so that shouldn't be a hindrance for you anymore. Still doing ISO pull-up holds, that will be next, but instead of the slams and skater jumps, we're gonna superset with medicine or with uh, ball toss, single leg ball toss. You're gonna have a partner. I'm gonna try to balance on one leg the whole time. I'll throw it to my partner, Coach Dane will catch it. And I'm gonna try to catch it. If they're crushing it, one hand at a time, okay? They'll do like five back and forth and then they're gonna switch legs, okay? They're trying to balance on that one leg the whole time. And they'll go back and do another set of the, of the chin up hold, the pull up holds. Okay? Um, after that, the uh, slack line and ladder is going to be the exact same as last week. New circuit this week. Seven minute AMRAP. They're going to start off. We're going to have them hold two dumbbells, five pounds for maybe a not so strong athlete, up to 15 pounds for a stronger athlete. So five, 10, or 15. Two dumbbells held here. They're gonna do 10 step ups. Okay. On the 12 inch boxes, set them all up in a line just like this. Next, they're going to start at the cone and they're gonna walk down to the other cone and back, okay? This is 25 feet, they're gonna do 100. So they're gonna go down and back twice. When they finish here on the walk, they're gonna do renegade rows, okay? 10 renegade rows total, five per arm. Renegade row looks like this. Okay, tell them they have to keep their core tight, flat back like a board, and the dumbbell has to touch their chest on the way up, okay? Uh, same thing, we are gonna tally rounds, encourage them to go hard here, but be safe. All right, that's it for this week.